Hello everyone, let us understand some more problems of arithmetic mean. So there is this problem number one, where I have been given find the mean out of 52 students. So my objective is to find the mean out of 52 students. So I already know that uh, these total students, if I total them, that oh, these are 52 students. So I know the total frequency of sum of f already, that is 52. And it has been given that from the following table, where 40 is the assumed mean. So it is already given that 40 is this assumed mean. And this is the deviation from assumed mean which is given. Generally, it is represented by D, but here it has been written U. So I need to find out the arithmetic mean. It's a pretty straightforward problem where half of the job has already been done. You have already the deviation has already been calculated. So let me write it in a proper format to calculate the arithmetic mean. So let me write the deviations first of all. So, okay. The deviations first of all. So let me write the deviation. The first is negative 10, second is negative 7. Third is negative five, then zero, then three, then five, then eight. Since I know the assumed mean already, it is very easy for me to calculate x also because it's, this t is something called x minus 40. So this first x value is definitely 30 because 30 minus 40 is negative 10. Same way, second x value is 33, third x value is 35. It is definitely zero because 40 minus 40 would be equal to zero. And now it is 43 marks scored by three students. You can think that way. 45 marks scored by five students. 48 marks are scored by eight students. X is easily traceable if the assumed mean is given and the deviations are given. Now the next thing I've given with F frequency. So first, there are four students whose deviation is negative 10, four students scoring 30 marks. Then there are seven students, 10 students, 15 students, eight, five and three. So I'll be finding their total also here. Since I know the formula for assumed mean x bar is given by a, which is assumed mean given already 40 here. So I'm not bothered about this a value. So this is a right here. And then it is going to be a plus sum of f d divided by sum of f. And if some common factor is given i, then I multiply it, but here it is not mentioned. Let me write it a little more clearly. This one right here. Okay, sounds better. So that means I need fd, so that I'm going to calculate here. So minus 10 times four is negative 40, minus seven times seven is negative 49, minus five times 10 so is negative 50, 15 times zero is zero, 8 times 3 is 24, 5 times 5 is 25, 8 times 3 is 24. So let's see what is summation FD. So if I sum that, that is going to give me negative 66. Sum of F. Sum it, I've already explained it multiple times. That is exactly 52. Let me plug in the values pretty simply. A is 40. Several times I've explained. So A is 40, it is given already here. And you can see it here also. You can see it here also. And then plus summation FT is a negative value, negative 66 divided by 52. So if I solve it, it is 40 minus 66 divided by 52. And we use a calculator solve it, it gives me 38.7. So these are the average marks of the students, 52 students given in this part. Let's see another problem. It's an interesting problem where average salary of the employees of a company are given. The total average salary is 24,000, where female employees and male employees are there. So male employees have an average salary of 25,000 and females have 19,000. I will find out what percentage of male and females are there in the company. So let me just, let's say, let's say M represents a number of male employees, a number of male employees. So I will raise E, M, E, that's it. F, on other hand, so I'll write it a little more clear. Just take it easier. Okay. So I'm saying F represents number of females, or I will say number of female employees. What will be M plus F? So M plus F would be total 
number of employees right total number of employees so i'm just writing an abbreviation i'm not writing the complete word employee here so let us see how exactly the things are going to work <clears throat> i know that if i want to calculate average salary of an employee that means doesn't matter whether the person is male or female then you put total salary on the top so you already know that total salary divided by total employees so that is what you need to do total salary divided by total employees so this figure average salary of an employee has already been given to me 24000 in the question so i'll put it 24000 is equal to total salary which i don't know i'm representing it by ts total salary is ts divided by total number of employees i already have notified it it is m plus m so total salary is actually 24000 if you do a cross multiplication times m plus n same way what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a calculation for average salary of a male so let me calculate average salary of a male and that will be total salary of males which i'm representing with tsm divided by total number of males so i'll write a total males so average salary of male is already given to me 25000 right here so 25000 that would be equal to total salary of male which i am representing tsm because i don't know that and total mark total males is given by small m. so total salary of males is actually 25000 times m and we see the third part which third information which has been given to me in the question and i'm going to utilize it it says average salary of a female and that is given by total salary of a female divided by total number of females which i am representing by f it is already given to me 19000 here so 19000 is the average salary which is equal to total salary of female which i don't know divided by f so total salary of female is actually uh 19000 f right so i have total salary of male here i have total salary of females here and i have total salary so if i see the equation is going to be something like total salary is equal to total salary of males plus total salary of females so it is not difficult to understand because what males are getting females are getting the total makes it to total salary so I will put the right hand side of all these three things equal. So let me go to the next part. So what, what I was having 24,000 of male plus female was the total salary, which is equal to 25,000 of male salary plus 20, sorry, 19,000. So it is 19,000 of female salary. So let me solve it. It is 24,000 males salary, 24,000 of F. So I just open the bracket, multiply it inside. 25,000 of males plus 90,000 per female into number of females. So if I do a little bit, like if I shift, you know, 25,000 males. So I'm going to take this 19,000 figure on the left hand side and this 24,000 figure on the right hand side. Signs would change, simple arithmetics. So I'm going to put 24,000 females. So I'm taking this 19,000 on left hand side. So it will change its sign. 19,000 females is equal to 25,000 of males minus 24,000 males. So you can pause the video and see how shifted them. So this becomes 5 of F if you solve it. This becomes 1 into M. So if I calculate something called M divided by F, that means M, so F goes right here. So it will be five by one. So it's pretty simple to understand. One goes here, and F comes in the denominator of the right hand side. Now I'm, I'm through with maximum of the thing. 
Now I'll make a very simple calculation here. So how would you calculate percentage of female employees? So if you calculate it pretty simply, it will be females, total number of females divided by total employees. That means male plus female multiplied by 100. So it's pretty simple. If there are 10 total employees and there are four female employees and there are six male employees. So how do you calculate percentage female? It will be four divided by 10, that means four divided by total multiplied by 100, so whatever it gets, like 40%, right? Same thing is applied here. So if I see the female employees divided by male plus female, and that is, so I'm going to use, make use of this equation. This gives me M is equal to five of F, right? This is what it gives. It will be something called F divided by, instead of M, I'm going to write five F from here. 5f plus f into 100. That becomes females divided by 6f times 100. You cancel f, right? So it is 100 by 6. And that gives you 16.67%. So this is percent right here. This is percent right here. This is percent right here. Since you already know, 16.67% females are there. So what would the males? Males would be 100 minus percentage of female employees. So 100 minus 16.67%. That gives you simply 83.33%. So I was just knowing average salary, total average salary, total average salary of males and females and I could find out the percentage of male and female employees in the organization. So that is what arithmetic mean can help you out. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Let's discuss another examples.